my name is Peter Shakespeare, your favorite, the smart MC, the slim jando. You can call me Vashimpundo if you like. If you're new to this channel, you can subscribe right about now by hitting the red button. Switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Vashimpundo has posted a new video. Well, apart from other Zambians that have reacted, the youths, to be specific, and now just every Zambian in general, um, because the meeting is for the youths, it's not for everyone. So then there is a meeting that has been scheduled where the government wants to dialogue with the youths tomorrow at 14 hours in Lusaka. Now, um, this is a meeting that is scheduled within a short notice, all right? And then apart from the meeting being scheduled on a short notice, one has to register for them to attend this meeting. And this is a meeting that is not going to be chaired by uh, the president, but it will be chaired by a minister. All right. This simply means the president is not even ready to hear what um, the youths have to say. And if it's for the reason of dialogue, why is a person that is supposed to attend the meeting has to register for them to attend the meeting because this is talking about the country's crisis, what the government, uh, the country is going on and what the youths have to say. Well, well and good, the dialogue is set for tomorrow. But then, why is it, it is tomorrow that they want to hear from the youths and they have not heard the youths in the past years that they've been in government so what is going on is this meeting tomorrow really that the government wants to dialogue with the youths of zambia or it is because they want to show that they said they want to dialogue with the youths because if they really wanted to dialogue or they want to dialogue with the youths they can't be restricting the meeting by registration or even calling a short notice meeting that they want to dialogue with the youths. And this is what uh, uh, the post from Radio Christian Voice said, says a government to hold a youth dialogue meeting tomorrow by Eva H. Chand. Government will tomorrow hold a dialogue meeting with the youths in the country to give them a platform to air their grievances to the relevant authorities. And now it is saying the youths in the country. It is in Lusaka, short notice, and somebody has to register to attend the meeting. How about those that are on the Copper Belt, those that are in Livingston, those that are in Kasama? How are they going to register travel and reach Lusaka by 14 hours and register for the meeting? and attend this meeting what kind of an arrangement is this youth and sports minister imano mlenga says the meeting will take place tomorrow at the government complex in lusaka at 14 hours and that all those that want to attend should visit the national youth council to register you heard me right you heard me right somebody to attend this meeting tomorrow has to register for them to be in this meeting and this is coming from the government that they want to dialogue with the youths like really <laughs> this is interesting speaking to journalists in lusaka today mr mulenga said youths will not heal anything by staging a protest but that they should take their issues to the arranged meeting in that the minister in charge will submit them to the cabinet Mr. Mlenga said the head of state is ready to hear the youths out and that they have their chance tomorrow to speak out. Now listen to me. Listen to me if you're listening to me. Even better. The president of Zambia, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu, there is... This thing that is going around, of course, people are talking about it, that um, uh, the head of state is being misled by the ministers, the head of state, the ministers are reporting different uh, kind of things 
and actually not what is happening in Zambia. Uh, now, if if the head of state is being misled by the ministers, why then is he sending the same ministers to come and chair the meeting? Does he want the ministers to continue misleading him or what? What is he trying to do? Why can't he himself hold that meeting, hear from the youths, make proper arrangements by making the meeting on time? If they want the youths to register, maybe put it online so that even those that are outside the copper belt can register via online and this meeting gets to be held and let us say what we want to say. Because if he sends the minister again, simply means he's going to be misled. So why can't he do that? So some Zambian youths, of, apart from me, they have also reacted. And this is what they are saying um, about uh, this meeting that is supposed to be um, held tomorrow. As a true Zambian youth, I say no more to that meeting. After things have gone into sour and they want to show up themselves, please youths, let's wake up and fight for what is right. This one says, and just the idea of being addressed by a youth minister, sure, plus to register if you want to attend, please, consents to be addressed to cabinet and feedback given afterwards. Just the process itself is demotivating. We need question and answer meeting, not um, to the specific people who would want to register or pre uh, to be present and to be addressed by a sports minister. This one says, my fellow Zambian youths, please, we should not attend the meeting. Let them address himself. Let him address himself. Now at Tola Sana. If he wants, let him go and address his children. So people are reacting. They don't want to be, to be addressed by a minister and also because the minister is misleading uh, the president and also to have a meeting that one has to register to attend, which is at a short, on a short notice. That is not right. This one said it is not even making sense. Just on short notice, as if you will provide transportation to youths. These guys are full of jokes. This one says, just imagine meeting just of uh, pressure. No way, that's real corruption. Zambians, please wake up. Zambians are reacting. I am just learning today that there is a minister for youths and has been quiet all this long. He sided on the sports side leaving out. People are complaining and have reacted negatively. So this one says, this is calculated a calculated move. What they want is to play a blame game. They will say we invited you to a meeting but you never attended to come to air your grievances how do you expect people to attend the meeting within 24 hours notice it doesn't make sense honorable mlenga don't be funny a meeting in 24 hours and you need to register for you to attend like really zambia is not only the youths that are in lusaka it's the whole zambia so the government should look into this meeting very uh, uh, carefully and properly this one says so we even have such a minister in Zambia a minister of youth with all this unemployment amongst the youths of our country it's a shame this one says this ministry only focus on sport and last part of youth is not even considered at all and it's like he just knew the importance or role of the word in this country absolutely unacceptable so people and the youths of zambia have reacted that this is a calculated move where the government just want to say we invited you and you didn't come to the meeting but then the meeting is a short notice zambia is not only youths that are in lusaka it's a whole zambia and one has to register to attend this meeting like i said imagine somebody who's on the copper belt they have to register and come and the registration is not even online they don't have transport 
and they've got something that they have to say in this meeting. How are they going to attend? Somebody that is coming from Mansa, Kasama, Livingston, somebody coming from Mongu, and they want to attend this meeting, and they have to register to attend this meeting. There is something that is fishy. The government is trying to play a blame game. That's what this is all about. That's what this is all about. Wake up Zambian youths. Speak up Zambian youths. Speak up, speak up and wake up.